Hi everyone! In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to take an iClone character in iAvatar format and import it into Maya along with some iClone motions. Okay, I'm starting off by importing iClone character Mario into 3D Exchange here. In this case, I'm going to delete Mario's original Persona motions and import in one from the Mixed Moves 200 Communication content pack. Once you do that, you can simply import in the other motions by clicking and dragging them from your content manager in iClone, and then double click them in the motion library in 3D Exchange to preview them on your character. The next step is to add your motions to the perform editor so they can be exported. Any motion that is not in the perform editor will not be exported. I already demonstrated how to export the character into Maya in the last tutorial, so for this one, I'll only export the motion files. In the export window, I can name my motion, but more importantly is to make sure that include animation is selected, but that include geometry is not. Since we won't be needing the facial bones, I can just select the remove facial bones and keep eyes option. This will help to reduce the size of the file and take up less resources. Okay, so in Maya, I already have my character rigged from the previous tutorial, but I need to make sure he's in a proper T-pose also. To do this, I can select the Stance option from the Source drop-down menu. In the next step, I'll want to unlock the Bone Mapping in the Definition tab, in order to delete the old Human IK rig. After that, turn the lock back on in order to keep the Human IK Bone Mapping for importing the motion data. Next, I'm going to import the FBX motion that I just exported from 3D Exchange. Once it's selected, I need to make sure that the Update Animation option is selected from the drop-down menu and that the animation checkbox is also active. The animation take list is the same as the perform list from 3D Exchange. I just have the one happy motion, so I'll select that and finish the import. Once that's done, make sure you select the RL hip item in the Maya outliner, and then you can go ahead and play back. To animate the character with bones directly can be a little bit difficult. So let's go up to the character controls and bake the motion to the control rig. Since I've already completed the bone mapping and characterization process previously in 3D Exchange, I'm now able to bake the motion from the bone to the human IK control rig. The baking procedure will just take a minute as your character runs through the motion. After the baking procedure, you will now have an additional human IK control rig with the animation. If you want to make further adjustments to the motion, you can add an additional animation layer. I'll just name this one Hand, as that's the body part I'm going to be adjusting. First, I want to make sure that the Human IK control rig is added into the animation layer by going up to the Character Controls section and selecting Edit, Controls, and then Add to the Current Animation Layer. Okay, now you have two animation layers, and there are no keyframes in the new layer, which can provide for an easier and more efficient workflow. Now I can go ahead and make adjustments in the animation layer as I wish. It's a fast and easy way to customize iClone animations to your own style, so why not try it out yourself? 